Hi there, I'm gonna tell you how you can legally fly over 400 feet with your drone. It's Ken again. One of the most passionate comments I get from people is, are you allowed to fly over 400 feet? How did you fly over 400 feet? I thought you weren't allowed to fly over 400 feet. Ken, you're gonna get in trouble if you fly over 400 feet. Well, guess what? You can fly over 400 feet in certain situations, and I'll tell you how. First, let's check this location with the Hover app and make sure that it's cool to fly here. As you can see, yes, we are able to fly here. We're sandwiched in between two no-no zones. I don't know where people are getting the idea that you can't fly over 400 feet, but that seems to be hammered into people's brain. But there is, I guess, a little known rule that the FAA offers you if you wanna fly over 400 feet, and we're gonna exploit that today. And it's a good rule, it's to your benefit. See, the FAA knew that people would wanna film buildings that were over 400 feet tall. So, knowing this, they allowed for a provision where if you come to a building or a hill or topography that goes above 400 feet AGL, above ground level, then you can go within 400 feet and then go above 400 feet, as we will now demonstrate with this tower behind me that is clearly taller than 400 feet. Look at that thing. All right, so we're about to take off. All right, let's go. We are within 400 feet of that tower. So being within 400 feet, we can then go 400 feet above the height of that tower. Let's figure out exactly how high that tower is. Okay, so we're even with the tower, which is 333 feet high. So, math fans, 333 plus 400 is... That's right! 733 feet we can go. Coming up on 600 feet. Approaching 700 feet. 33 more feet. Alright, there we go. 733 feet. That is 400 feet above the tower. Now, if I moved away from the tower, we would have to come down as we moved away. So, once again, it's okay to go over 400 feet as long as you are within 400 feet of a structure or a hill or any other kind of topography from AGL, above ground level. While we're up here, let's just take a gander. Wow. There's Nashville off in the distance. Already hit the helicopter sound effects. All right, traffic seems a little bit light right now on I-65 as you head back from your work day. Uh, be careful, we have a little accident at the 22 mile marker. And we'll be back. Uh, this helicopter report brought to you by Prozac. Prozac, for when you're feeling up or you want to feel down. Down is up, up is down, Prozac. <laughs> Another question people have is, don't you get interference from radio towers when you fly near them? Well, the answer, most of the time, I would say 99% of the time is gonna be no, because it's at an entirely different frequency than your controller. Of course, RF can overwhelm other frequencies if you're right on it. So I would avoid landing on the tower at all costs, but for the most part, you're gonna be safe near these antenna towers. And that, my friends, is how you fly over 400 feet. Thanks for watching. Th Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great day. Leave your comment below. Buh. You want to say it? And bye. Thank you.